today I'm setting up for a newborn session with a little girl. I have put something underneath my bean bag to make it a little bit higher instead of filling it up because I didn't have time to fill it up and it was really sinking in low. So now you can see the bean bag is really high. It's actually almost higher than the plumber shell, which is not the way it should be, but no wrinkles. So um, see, we'll go for neutrals. Got a little outfit ready, headbands. I just finished the session with the beautiful little girl uh, we took gorgeous photos um, so yeah what's my gear I used the Nikon D750 with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens uh, aperture 2.8 I usually shoot at 3.2 or even 3.5 when I'm shooting the girl alone shutter speed is 200 my ISO is around 640 or 500 and then when I'm shooting the baby with her parents, I have a smaller aperture or of like 4.5. And then I crank up my ISO to 800 or even 1000. I use the Godox speed light. I'll put it on in the description. My largest aperture on my lens is 2.8. But what you usually see when you photograph on the largest aperture, uh, your photo can be a little bit unsharp. Because the lens is usually the sharpest, like one or two f-stops above the largest aperture. So that would be like 3.2, 3.5. Also, I get most of the eyes in focus, there with the nose, face, and then maybe the feet will be blurry. But you don't want to have like the face kind of in focus. So usually aperture 3.2, 3.5. And then ISO is to match. It's depending on the light that's coming in, skin tone of the baby, color of the backdrop. So usually my ISO is between 400 and 640 when I'm photographing the newborn. And then when I photograph the parents with the newborn, I have a smaller aperture because I want to have both people in focus. So it's usually 4.5. And then I crank up my ISO to about 1000. But the ISO, you should play with that one. And then maybe choose your aperture very consciously and your shutter speed as well. And then those will be kind of like set and then you can play with your ISO. But yeah, make sure when you photograph one pe person and then a group of people that you do change your aperture to get everybody in focus or to get the beautiful blurry background.
much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment and then i'd love to read your comments have a lovely day or evening bye bye